Harboring bad thoughts about other people always hurts someone. It hurts you. The reason is, you know, because they are not just innocent thoughts. Behind them are, you know, other emotions such as, you know, um, uh, like angry, jealousy, in way or pride, or you know, anyone of which will harm you. Like, um, you know, the Bible repeatedly warns us about, you know, danger of evil or prideful thoughts. <clears throat> and we should take its, you know, warnings very seriously. Even we, uh, you know, hidden them from others. God knows uh, what is going on in our minds. And, you know, uh, He always knows the harms that comes because of, uh, because of them. The Bible says, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind. Jeremiah chapter number 17 and verse number 10. So, why are bad thoughts about other so harmful? One reason is because they not only poison our soul and distort our, you know, personality, but they also cut us from, uh, you know, of, uh, from others instead of, uh, you know, loving them and seeking to help them. We turn our backs on them, which is, you know, wrong. Bible says this is, you know, the message you heard from the beginning. We should, you know, love one another. First uh, John chapter number 3 and verse number 11. Committed your life, including your mind, to Jesus Christ. Remember, you may have, you know, bad thoughts about others, but he has no bad thoughts about you. He loves you with an everlasting love, a love so great that he was willing to give his life for your salvation, for my salvation. Open your heart and life, you know, to him today. Then ask him to cleanse our mind and heart of evil thoughts and to help you love others in the same way he loves you. And if bad thoughts arise, crowded them out with your prayer. May the Holy of Israel bless you and ask God to, you know, fill your heart and mine in Jesus' name.